the scene. I did. Dressed in some mean. I did. Came through with the team. I did. We all looking like snacks. A mighty fine cuisine. If you're not vibing with us, then please don't intervene. No, please don't intervene. What's gonna happen is people are gonna be more emboldened to be uh, disrespectful towards retail workers. Yeah, yeah. and have that attitude. Hundred percent. And act a fool in public. I mean, right now we don't even really require. I mean, we say we have the signs posted and we have masks up front if you want one, but we don't tell anybody to put one on. So we're just gonna see less people with masks on as far as customers go. But we're gonna be required as employees to wear them. So my life personally will not change at all. Dude, <laughs> dude, I've seen people. I've seen people at my job that get offended. Because I'm not threatened by uh, COVID because I'm not immune compromised. I still sanitize. Yeah. I'm not at risk. I have coworkers who I have where like they will actively step away from you if you get in their public if you get in their space within six feet. Without a mask on or just with, even with a mask. Oh. On. Because they people because I mean, like I have coworkers right. who have ki- like who have infant kids yeah. who are immune compromised yeah. and they were just born and like they're at risk. I have people who like get deathly sick because you know they're adults. They're still at risk, and I've had customers go irate because you're treating like I have some kind of e- you know Ebola disease. I'm like, no, I'm just worried about my personal safety. Yeah. That's how I'm doing these things. Matter of fact, they take space from us at work. There's a guy I work with right now who will like some some times we take our mask off to eat, drink, da da da, from from beginning of work to even in it walking to his car. That mask will be on all day until his lunch break, and that's it. I mean, that's probably the way it should have been yeah, the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Everybody's mentality should be in that way. But, like, this is just. <sighs> he said he felt pressure from his uh, party. to. Uh, there was, there's been some things going around with other uh, other Republicans in other states ending theirs. And he felt like, you know, like, to all be on one accord. Follow suit. Yeah. Be with the cool kids. But he was quoted saying that he will continue to wear a mask in public. Which you shouldn't do. Unless you're vaccinated. But if you're going to do that, why end it in the first place? If, you, if you're still going to wear one, why would you to make it? his people happy. No, it is just stupid. <laughs> it's all politics. That's all it is. Politics is evil. It, that's all it is, man. I will still be wearing a mask if I'm around a bunch of people. But, oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not about to go crazy. But we're going to see a lot less people wearing it. And it's just going to make things go backwards. Hopefully, COVID doesn't spike up. Hopefully, um, this vaccine really does stop it. I heard that the Johnson Johnson one's not as effective. As the one it's that you not, get, that a, you need two doses. It's a one shot, but it's not as effective. I think it's like seventy yeah. percent. It's just really low. Yeah, it's really low. <laughs> so you can still get the virus. <laughs> also, I mean, like even like even like other ones are all. Like I mean, you can still get 90s, it. Nineties, yeah. So it's still possible to get it. Also, all users over the age of sixteen will be eligible for the vaccine starting March thirty first. You guys get it? I've not yet. I've already got my. You don't plan on getting it? I plan on getting it. I didn't get it. Got it yet? No, I'm saying, are you getting it? Yes. Like once we're able to. Yes. I've already got my first shot. So. When are you getting the next one? It's in April. I plan on getting it. How long do you have to wait? Is there a limit? It's like it's a, it's a time frame you have to wait. I guess, yeah. But my mine's like, I think it's like wait two weeks. I think. Oh, okay. I'm also afraid of needles, so it needs to be a lot for me. Yeah, you don't need it. It's, it's, I will say the next day your arm is like I'm gonna punch you in the same spot eight times in a row. I, I, everybody's different, but you might have COVID symptoms. I do not like needles. That's the least of your worries. I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> like if you end up having symptoms, it's gonna be worse than that needle. I can't. I won't see a cough coming. I mean, I may not always like feel a cough. I feel that needle. Hey, I mean, you'll be you're a strong guy. You'll be all right. But, so, where's the closest knife? You can stab nigga in the arm. But, it's like, not I, even the same. I, I, how do you guys <laughs> feel about us moving towards like we're going back to like pre-COVID? Like, I'm really excited if the, the, death rate the numbers down. don't spike up. If, yeah, if, if it's done right, I think it it's possible to be by this year. Yeah. But it's still like I'm a little. I don't want like Bro, I don't want to take a course. bunch of steps forward just yeah. to go all the way back. That would literally depress me to depths that I don't want to be in. Like having like having to start all over. Like I don't like, know if I could do it. Like March twenty twenty. <laughs> I really don't know. Like, I would just, probably just quit yeah. my job and become a bum and live on the street and just forget. Like, cause what is this? What is this life that we're living right now? <laughs> that would be tragic. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awful. I would become a non-masker. <laughs> just, so I'm doing fucking, wild shit. Don't bro. wear your mask. You need to fuck this shit, bro. If I die, I die at this point. I'm sick of this. <laughs> nah, that would be trash. That's, I feel like that would be a lot of people. Well, like, I think we are like, and I think I think people are like skeptical, like going back to normal, because like 
And I would, I am too. Because what is normal? <laughs> yeah, but like I think eventually it is almost that time to get back to. How Absolutely, one hundred. It's way overdue, but. But I just don't know what it's gonna look be like. Be smart though, yeah. It's like I think you still wear a mask in public. I know it's not, you don't have to, but I think like wearing I think a mask. it'll make it a cleaner world. Um, because we should have been cleaning before, but places weren't. Yeah. Oh so, my goodness, I just realized. I, like I was thinking about the other day. I was like, they weren't doing this. I was like, the shit that people do now. Like to, uh, I went to, I think I went to Panera, mm-hmm. and like, uh, like when, when you get like food to go. They like tape it differently. Like they like make sure it's all, it's all everything's like sealed off and everything. Like your strong, your dreams all sealed off. Everything's like covered. Yeah. And I was like, they should have been doing this. Like they should have been doing this <laughs> yeah, like, before. COVID. Think about it. That's kind of nasty. Yeah, like, <laughs> this shit was open the whole time. Yeah. Like, like when the last time you even like cleaned yourself with your hands? Yeah, like, like, how many things have you touched? <laughs> shit that they do now, like after COVID, like it should have been happening like pre-COVID. But that's just gonna fade off after it the is. Fir- after the first it cost, year. It costs money. Yeah. It it'll is. be over. Speaking of hey, hold on real quick. Speaking of Panera, I was in Panera the other day, right? <laughs> And um, you know how sometimes there's like either napkins or uh, straws that are like within reach that, that is on the counter for people to use, right? Yeah. Okay. This lady, because there's a whole cup full of straws, kind of like 50 of them, right? Um, they didn't give me a straw for my coffee, for my iced coffee. And I reached into the cup to grab one. And she yanked it away from me like, we ask that you ask permission first or ask one of us to grab a straw first before you grab a straw. And she threw it away. What? Yeah, it's a whole thing away, and I'm like, oh, well, dude, again, like, that's it's a crazy. whole waste of straws. First of all, they're wrapped in paper. <laughs> they're wrapped in paper. So and it's sitting right here without a sign saying that you want us to ask. Correct. No. As as well as as well as, worry about me taking a straw out of the ceiling that it's in. I can sanitize my hands. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, people touch this microwave to heat up the stuff all the time. There's the knobs for hot coffee, they give you a cup, like, all right, go pour your hot coffee. They don't sanitize the knobs. Yeah. They don't sanitize the microwave. There's napkins dispenser, the napkin dispenser that's always being touched on all the time. We wear this fucking straw that I grab off the desk. <laughs> Why don't you chill out, lady? You know, I hate, I hate when the restaurants do the thing where like, you got to like, put your like, in the drive through like, put, your, put your, your debit card in the bucket. They, they take the bucket, then like, do everything. It's like, we're, we're, we're still spreading germs here, right? This isn't, yeah, this isn't a anything. germ-free process at all. Dude, like, you're just like, making you this. You just took my cart from me. I'm like, sure your, your, drive, your drive through times are up in the roof. Dude, what kills me, no, what kills me <laughs> is that, like, like, like the buttons, the buttons you still have to press are covered in a plastic layer, but you still touch them. Touch they, they don't so sanitize the germs are just now on this part. <laughs> That's literally what it is. At, at the fucking at the restaurant, we went to a uh, uh, Chinese place. It's covered in tarp, but there's a big-ass hole. <laughs> Where you, where you get your food from? The part that you actually go to. <laughs> it's like, COVID's still going through there. And then right? they took my car without a gloves or anything, which I didn't sanitize. <laughs> like, exactly. Is, who are you trying to fool here? Like, this doesn't make me feel any better. This, this is, just irritates this me. This is why I, I'm like, you know what? Are we sure we're okay with no mask? Because, like, like, at that point, bro. What the fuck have we been doing this whole time? <laughs> bro, I miss the days. I miss the days, like, a year ago, like, a year ago from, from like, where we are today, where people were, like, afraid to breathe air outside. You know what I mean? Bro. <laughs> that was the days. We're like, we didn't come around each other for like a hot minute. <laughs> there, there was no traffic for the longest time. Yeah, yeah we, we couldn't Nothing. go outside. Actually, going to work, bro. Just, there's no traffic. Bro, just, bro, you could probably, bro, you could probably drive from Indy to California within half the time. <laughs> when, ain't nobody, oh, no, cop to pull you over. Ain't no semi-trucks on the road. Nothing. Uh, Indiana is lifting their mask mandate. April, Did you hear me? April 6th. Indianers? Hoosiers? Hoosiers. April 6th. What do you guys feel about that? I'm coughing on everybody. I think it's going to matter. Uh, Coughing on everybody. I, will, it, will it feel any different to you? Brothers still in the land. I well. think businesses are still going to require it. I think they still can. Correct. Bro, that matter. <laughs> and like, it, it, I don't know if it, it says the schools are still going to have to follow it. Correct. But I still got to wear a mask.